ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。What's up, dudes and dudettes? Welcome to my channel. As always, I'm yours truly. The same guy as always, s u g i j i r b g And first of all, I just want to say to you guys, Happy New Year! And I made an actual New Year's resolution, haven't done those before, which was to become more time efficient, more productive, and more active. So, more videos, more money, gonna be actually completing a lot of those games sitting at my Steam account and PS4, and actually do stuff and less fucking around. I'm gonna start the year by making a video on the very first day. And this video is called Final Fantasy XVI Wishlist. And I'm gonna start by saying that I want everybody to participate and tell me what they want to see 16 have. Tell me what type of setting you want, what type of、uh, mini games,、uh, combat system, graphic style. Is it on PC or consoles?、Uh, what kind of art style? Is it more anime like or more 3D? And etc. And I'm gonna kind of go point by point. I made this sort of a You know, bullet list of things that I want to see on 16. And obviously, we don't know if the game is even on the making right now. We don't know how many teams actually exist on the Square Enix working. We, we know that there's some people working on 15, I guess, still. And some people are working on Kingdom Hearts 3. Some people are working on 7. And some are working on 14. I mean, it's hard to say if they're working on yet on the 16. But moving on. So. Looking at the current roster of upcoming games, so 15 had an active time battle, or not active time battle, but it had a, like, a, you know,、uh, a battle system that, you know, is more akin to an action battle system. And Final Fantasy VII is going to be a lot similar to 15. I wouldn't be surprised if both of them use the same engine, but I would assume in VII you can spam a bit more magics probably and summons. And also, I think there would be less teleporting around with your blade. And secondly,、um, we also g o n n a have Kingdom Hearts 3, which is also g o n n a be a similar type of combat system. Once again, a bit more freer model from、uh, 15 and 7, I would assume. So, a lot of things would indicate that we are g o n n a get a turn based system. And seeing the current Last three games on the genre or in the in Final Fantasy universe, if you can. Well, let's just. I think Kingdom Hearts is part of Final Fantasy, in my opinion, in a sense. It's a spin off, but it's still a Final Fantasy game. And I would I would kind of think that it's a very possible that we're going to get a turn based system type of game, but maybe it's going to be more of a hybrid type of. Maybe something more like 12, but better. I think 12 was actually more pleasing when I played it on the turbo mode on the、uh, Zodiac Age reboot. And I also thought that、um, maybe it was lacking in some regards and it could have been improved a bit. But a combat system like that, I could deal with that. But maybe I want to go back to the turn based system, but maybe add more like、um, more active elements into it. It could be like a Bit more fast paced, kind of like,、uh, like Final Fantasy X2 is, or perhaps,、um, you know, I guess, because I have like more things like in old days, you had those like slot machines of Final Fantasy VII with the limit breaks. You can have more those type of elements, which, which make more、uh, active battlefield, I guess. And I don't really mind、e、any battle system right now. I'm kind of I'm not really sick and tired of one model. I just hope it won't be boring and slow as 13 one is. So maybe, maybe a turn based system could be good. Or maybe even a hexagon, make like a Fire Emblem s type of a,、uh, Final Fantasy Tactics type of a movement could be also a really nice twist.、Um, one thing that we also have been seeing quite a lot is it has been very sci fi as of late. If you want to count 14, That is the last edition to the fantasy. If not, we're going to look at 12. And I want to go back to steampunk. So, not the style that 12 had, more akin to Final Fantasy IX. So, I would like to see a game that is、um, a kind of hybrid model between Skies of Arcadia meets Final Fantasy IX in its、um, style. And why I did pull the Skies of Arcadia there. Is because I think it would be a good time to bring the airships back in, in a way that they are fucking relevant again, 
but also make airship battles as they did in the skies of Arcadia. This could be uh, really could actually having a active battle system with a turn-based airship battles would be a rather nice addition in my point of view. And it's kind of surprising to me that they have not done this airship battle as of yet. And I think it could be really interesting. And I think Skies of Arcadia did a pretty good job on, on having that system. Maybe more customizations could have been better for it. But I think overall it's pretty good. And those are kind of things. That would be the mini game uh, of, of the new game uh, of 16, I think. That, you know, airship battles. One thing that I also have on my list is bringing back the card games. Uh, I, I don't really have anything against the fucking pinball bullshit and, like, the fishing on 15. Uh, they were kind of meh, to be honest. They were not really that amazing. I kind of enjoyed fishing a bit, but I think I did it because of the progression and some of the stuff that you could obtain by doing it. And for me, it just wasn't really the thing that I was really looking for as a mini game where I could just spend time because I, I spent like 30 hours on Blitzball. I think to this day, even though it kind of has a clunky camera and maybe hasn't dated well, I think it's the best like mini, mini game of all time in Final Fantasy series. And get, getting something as innovative as Blitzball would be really hard. I wouldn't mind if they just would rip off Blitzball, like do like an air ball or some bullshit like that. That could work too. And just ripping off the content from Skies of Arcadia, where the world is kind of run by, uh, there's like little land and everything is, you know, floating on air and, you know, airships are kind of the main way to go. There's no sea, practically. That would be uh, not a bad thing. And then we also, I want to go back to the characters now. And I definitely want all this bullshit where if the main character dies, the whole party dies or you can't control or all other characters than the main character, that shit has to go away. That shit has to go away. I heard that they're going to do that thing, they're going to patch 15 so you can play with the other characters. Way too fucking late, though. Way too fucking late. But that should have been in the get-go from day one. Day one thing. And go speaking of characters, I thought that 15 had a decent character in terms of their personality and such. But I thought that they were lacking a lot in designs. I don't think they were very distinctive. They were distinctive from each other, but they were not very interesting in design. Everybody just wore black. And in my opinion, it's kind of boring. It's kind of bland. It kind of fit the theme. It wanted to go more realistic. Hopefully we go back to more fantasy. Um, a lot more fantasy than... Um, I mean, 13 had a good job, even though it was a sci-fi, in terms of the outfits. But I kind of miss the humanoid characters. I miss Kimari Ronzo. I miss um, Freya. I I miss Vivi, Quena, like all of these, Amaranth. There were a lot of cool, you know, um, humanoid character, Red XX, Red XII. I always forgot the name, but, you know, there was a lot of these cool humanoid characters in these past games that made it more iconic and something. It's kind of boring to play with humans all the time, to be honest. And I want to see a humanoid character as one of the playable characters in the upcoming game. I, I think you can do a lot more with it, kind of more interesting. Um, and generally having more races than humans is, well, I think it's more... It, it, it brings more, you know, depth and, you know, just kind of better for world building because... You know, 15 was kind of bland in terms of world design, to be honest. Uh, and in many ways, in terms of the story, which is the next point I want to talk about. And story, it might be bad, it might be good. I don't I don't want to say the same Thabatha or whoever wrote the story for 15. I don't want him to write the story for 16. No fucking way. Because 15 was uh, such a... Uh, low performance when you compare to the past Final Fantasy games, which had amazing stories. Absolutely amazing stories. And, you know, it's just such a low performance because JRPG game relies on a good story. It's not to be... I don't think the gameplay is supposed to be... It's supposed to be a bit addicting in terms of, like, leveling and grinding and exploring a bit, obviously, but I don't think it's supposed to be, like, gameplay... I don't play JRPGs for the gameplay. There are a lot of bad games like 
Septera Core, which I reviewed, I think, la- two years ago or something, it was a game that had a very interesting story. But the combat was so awful to play after like two hours because it's so slow. But I played the game just because for the story. I hated the combat. I really hated it. And But it's just something that I kind of look always past if there's a good story. A story that is interesting and compelling that you want to really finish true. And that's something that I want to see a better story and all of us do. And then I would maybe want to see World Map back. Um... The 15th version, uh, the problem, okay, this is my thing about the uh, big maps, is that they always tend to drop in quality. Okay, you have this world that is super big, but the question is how much you can do there, is the question. You may have this fucking amazing wasteland, but there's nothing you can do there. Like It's just like... I think a good example is the um, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, where it didn't maybe have the biggest hub of, like, open-world areas, but all the areas in the game were, you know, filled with, like, secrets, like, hacking things, and it was so well designed in, like, a level design aspect, so, like, every place has something to do, and you have something to find or something. But, you know, uh, even in 15, there's a lot of, like, bland and fucking boring-looking-ass areas where you didn't do anything. Maybe you found some fucking beast there and killed it, but most of the shit was, like, fucking useless. So, let's, um, don't make an open world, just make a quality over quantity. That's what I think. And a lot of people who are doing these open world games don't really understand that. They thought that the bigger map, the better. It's not actually like that. It's in quality that matters. Things that places you remember, places you, you know, get mesmerized by, and so on. Um, as a final note, Uematsu could come back to compose. He did a shit job at 13. I'm pretty sure he did the 13. 15 was a redeeming um, aspect for him. But I want to get get him back to do a fantasy soundtrack. Because Final Fantasy IX soundtrack is the best, hands down. Um, there are maybe few individual tracks that are really fucking good in 7, 8, and 10 too, but I think 9 is just so fucking good. There are so many good tracks, and all the places have their own tunes and themes, and it's it's also Nobuo's favorite, obviously. So, getting him to do a steampunk game, or akin to 9, and doing a bit more like a fantasy, quirky... You know, I kind of want to see, you know, if Ghibli made a Final Fantasy game. That's what I want to see. Like, how would that look like? And they could actually get the Ghibli guy to do um, a soundtrack, too. But he plays maybe too much piano. He could, like, do one track or two. But overall, I I, I think I want to see back to the steampunk type of um, uh, JRPG. I would be okay with cyberpunk. Uh, I don't think that uh, the new game was cyberpunk enough. But I don't know how you would do like a combat system that is revolving around cities without doing it like uh, the, the mobs are lying around the city and shit like that. So that's hard to say. But um, I really like Cyberpunk though. But I'm not sure is that a good setting for Final Fantasy. Seven is a bit of a Cyberpunk if you look at Midgard, but that's only like a one location in the game. Uh, otherwise. Mm, it could work, it could work, but uh, I think it's it's not really for Final Fantasy. It could be for another game, maybe Tales. No, not, not really Tales, that's not. Maybe Star Ocean game? Maybe not even that, too. Uh, it, it would have to be like a new IP, pretty much. And I think maybe Cyberpunk games are a lot more best on uh, like a FPS type of a setting. But, you know, I don't know. But that's pretty much what I got to say about the wish list. Uh, sorry about making a long video, but I decided to talk about this because I've been planning to make this video for quite some time. And what do you want to see in Final Fantasy 16? Leave me on the comment section below. What do you think, guys? And I will see you guys next time on the next video. Cheers!